that? Look at that, David. Can you see it there? There. In the middle of the light. There's a chameleon. A flap-necked chameleon. I told you they were around. Isn't that nice? Hooray. And he's now... Can you see he's going darker? You can see that he's not the same colour he was when we saw him. And he's got a mosquito biting him. Look at that. Just behind his eye, there's a nasty mosquito sucking his blood. Can you believe it? Even the chameleons are not excused from the attacks of the mosquitoes. Isn't that amazing? Now, we're looking at this animal. You've seen a cheetah. You've seen a leopard. We've talked about lions. We've talked about elephants. Do you know what the most dangerous animal in Africa is? Not the chameleon, but that mosquito. Not that particular mosquito. That's a house mosquito. They're not very harmful. They don't carry disease. But something called a Anopheles mosquito is the most dangerous because they carry disease called malaria. And Ariana, you're wondering what the chameleon eats. Well, I've got to tell you, if that chameleon, you can see it looking at the mosquito, if that chameleon could bend its tongue backwards, it would definitely eat that mosquito. They eat largely grasshoppers and flies and other small insects and things like that. And they do that by shooting their tongues out. And they grab them, normally during the day, and they'll climb off the trees in the day, and they'll walk along the ground and try and catch themselves some insects that will land. Well, they can stay in the trees, on the ground or in the trees. And they move very, very slowly. They're very patient. They sneak up on the animals that they're trying to eat. Isn't that cool? Now, we only get one kind of chameleon here, and that's called a flap-necked chameleon. Now, J. Leandre, that's an interesting name, you say, how many colours can a chameleon turn into? You know, there are a lot of stories about chameleons changing colours. Most of them are not true. They can change into different colours of green. You can see this one's changed colour already. He's changed to the same colour as the leaves around him. He was almost white when, we, when I spotted him. That's how I spotted him. Now I wouldn't be able to see him. So if I took the lights off him now, you can see he's exactly the same colour as the leaves around him. I wouldn't be able to see him. I've seen them also brown. So you, can you see those little bits of brown on him? I've seen them that colour before. But those somewhere between that green and that brown that I saw, that's the basically the colours that they can become. So if you put him on a piece of red paper, he can't go red, I'm afraid. I always used to think that a chameleon could go any colour that you put him on. So if you put him on some red or some bright yellow, then he'd become red or bright yellow or blue. But that's not the case. He's very special.